This is Susan London reporting from the annual meeting of the American Society of Clinical Oncology in Chicago. I'm talking with Dr. Hope Rugo about the NCI-sponsored cooperative group trial comparing old and new agents for advanced breast cancer. Could you just sum up for us your findings very briefly? What we showed was that uh, ixabepilone was significantly inferior to paclitaxel, and nabpaclitaxel was no supe- not superior to paclitaxel. We also had secondary endpoints looking at toxicity, and we found that the experimental agents were in general more toxic than paclitaxel. We wanted to look specifically at peripheral neuropathy, and we found that both experimental agents caused more peripheral neuropathy than the control arm at paclitaxel. There also is no difference in overall survival as expected from this trial. Actually, the trial shows another important uh, thing, which is the importance of the cooperative group mechanisms for testing new agents so that we don't end up with no knowledge and practicing based on phase two trials. This gave us very important information. Uh, It also tells us uh, something about uh, the chemotherapy itself, how we deliver it, when we dose reduce, and all of that data will be reported in the future where we look at how much chemotherapy patients received, how we reduce the dosages over time. So there's a strong sentiment out there that newer and more expensive is better. Do you think that these results will change clinical practice? Well, it's an interesting... um, I think, philosophy that we all have, which is we want the new agents to offer us improvements. And so we tend to believe the data from very early trials. In this study, we were able to show that the generic drug paclitaxel was as good or better and less toxic than the experimental drugs. What will that do to clinical practice? Well, it helps us to know that we shouldn't be giving 150 milligrams per meter squared of nab paclitaxel and expecting it to be superior. It is more toxic. So I think when we're giving the drug, my general approach is to use 100 milligrams per meter squared where we have data that the toxicity is uh, significantly lower. We know that it's not better to give these experimental drugs and it may be worse. So I think for a patient similar to this trial, paclitaxel would be our standard. However, there are patients who can't tolerate paclitaxel, where paclitaxel isn't available, uh, and in those patients, nab paclitaxel is a very good and reasonable alternative. It also is an agent which is used further down the line in the treatment of patients with metastatic breast cancer who've already progressed on paclitaxel or docetaxel. 